Welcome to a Lean Stacks instructional video. This video is part of the Spring Boot series. In this video, we build upon the Greeting Web Services project, incorporating Spring Profiles and Profile Specific Configuration. Spring Profiles allow you to group several application components and configuration modules together so that they may be enabled or disabled in different environments. Any components annotated with at configuration or at component may also be annotated with at profile to limit when it's loaded into the application context. To inform the application which profiles are active, use the Spring Profiles Active property. This may be supplied in any of the usual ways that Spring accepts environment configuration, properties files, environment variables, or command line arguments. Let's get started. I have opened the Spring Boot demo project in the Spring Tool Suite. I'm going to open the Greeting Batch Bean class. Just above the component annotation, I'm going to add the profile annotation, setting the value to batch. This tells Spring that this component is part of the batch profile. Let's run the application and test these changes. Open a terminal window and change directory to the project base directory. Type MVN clean package to create the application jar file. Next, use the java jar command to start the embedded Apache Tomcat server on port 8080. Let's watch the console logging in the terminal window. If the batch bean has been loaded by Spring, we will see logging statements printed to the console. There's no logging because the batch bean is only loaded when the batch profile is activated. Press Ctrl C to stop the application. Now let's start the application once again, but this time we will pass the Spring Profiles Active command line argument environment variable, indicating that the batch profile is active. This time, when we monitor the console logging, Note that there is logging from the batch bean, indicating that Spring has loaded all the components that are part of the batch profile. Next, let's see how we can use profiles to organize properties files. When a Spring Boot application is started, it searches both inside and outside the jar file for configuration in a file named application.properties by default. When there is more than one active profile, Spring also searches for properties files named application-profileName.properties. If a property key is defined in both the base properties file and a profile specific properties file, the pro profile specific properties file value overrides the value in the base file because the profile specific properties files are loaded after the base properties file. Let's create a batch properties file and declare the scheduler configuration within that file. Oftentimes it's helpful to run scheduled processes at different times or frequencies in non-production environments than in the production environment. In the source main resources config directory, create a new file named application-batch.properties. At the top of the file, it's helpful to include a comment that describes the properties file. This helps improve the maintainability of the application. Declare properties to configure the scheduled processes.
These property values match the scheduler configuration that is currently hard-coded in the greeting batch beam. Now let's update the scheduled annotations to use the property values. Return to the greeting batch bean. Replace the hard-coded scheduling configuration with property value expressions. Property value expressions are wrapped in curly braces and prefixed by a dollar sign. When the application starts, Spring will inject the environment configuration value into the property expression. The property values are injected as strings. Except for the cron element, the other rate and delay values are numeric. However, the scheduled annotation also has string element equivalents. Update the initial delay, fixed rate, and fixed delay elements to accept string values. When we last ran the application, we supplied the active profiles at the command line. We can also provide the list of active profiles in the properties file. Open the main application properties file and add the spring profiles active property. Set the property value to batch. Now the batch profile will be active by default when the application is started. Let's run the application once again to test these changes. Open a terminal window and change directory to the project base directory. Type MVN clean package to create the application jar file. Now use the Java jar command to start the embedded Apache Tomcat server on port 8080. Let's watch the console logging again. Notice that the batch jobs are writing to the console log, indicating that the batch profile is active. Spring determined which profiles to activate using the Spring Profiles Active property in the Application Properties file. Using profiles to compartmentalize application functionality and configuration allows you to create a modular application that may be composed differently to suit environment-specific needs. Give thoughtful consideration to the requirements for each of your environments and apply a standardized spring profile design to suit the needs of each one. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the Lean Stacks YouTube channel and follow the Lean Stacks Google Plus page to receive updates as new videos are published. As always, you can find more information on leanstacks.com.